right, you guys, welcome back. So if you're new and you like what you see that I post, please feel free to follow me. So yes, um, I'm going to be honest. So past month and a half, I've been fasting. I've been fasting. And it's not to gain anything. It's to actually get more closer to Christ. But you know what? I'm going to be honest. The last fasting was more powerful than the first two fasting. I'm going to tell you why. This past fasting... I was, you know, I was praying for the Lord to close doors and whatnot. And you're probably wondering why you see my book on here and not the Bible. I'm going to tell you why. This is actually a message to the fellow authors and whatnot. So, long story short, we were praying against the spirit of Jezebel and whatnot. Because here was the thing. I almost became one of Jezebel's victims. And, I, in other words, I almost turned into a Jezebel, what I'm trying to say. So... Kind of find out, one of my fellow authors whom I admired so much, this year she blocked me because I told her the truth. I rebuked her because not one time am I going to say, uh, what? not one time am I going to hold something back that I really believe needs to be said. I'm going to tell it to you to your face. I'm not going to say it to you to a post. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to be honest and say it to you to your face. Mind you that I have not met this person in person. So she blocked me. And not too long ago, yesterday, I started on a book. And this book is technically about her. And apparently, the author that wrote this book was dealing with this Jezebel at a much, much, much harsher treatment than I did. This person wanted to suck the life out of her. And I was like, you know what? I said, I low-key almost became a Jezebel because of whom I had in my, you know, whom I had in my author circle. Because I, it was to the fact, like I said, I admired this person. I looked up to this person, everything. But the fact of the matter is, I was borderline about to act like a Jezebel. And it almost could have affected my marriage as well. Yes, I'm a wife. But... I'm going to keep it real, and I mean this when I say this, I'm going to keep it real. Authors, you need to be mindful in this industry whom you associate with. Just because someone writes books, that does not mean that their spirit, that does not mean they are filled and led with the Holy Spirit. I'm going to keep it real on one, two, and three, because guess what? It was to the point I couldn't even write. My writing was under attack. Like, I was really under this spiritual attack. It was to the point I couldn't write. I'm like, something. Maybe. Thank you. Thank you, husband. Anyway, like I was saying, I was under spiritual attack. It was to the point I couldn't even write. I'm like, Lord, something ain't right. Like, why can't I write? Not only did he expose one Jezebel, this person don't even write that he exposed, that I was also listening to and whatnot. The Lord Use one of my other fellow authors to write about her experience. Well, this just about the thing. I said, I was really tolerating Jezebel. And I don't want to tolerate Jezebel this year out. No, or forevermore. No more Jezebel. This is why, authors, you need to have discernment and you need to have eyes to really spiritually see. Just because someone has so many books out, just because someone's topping the charts, and they got millions and millions of pages spread. That doesn't mean that their spirit man is on um, good terms with the Lord, okay? That doesn't mean they're really following Christ. Because guess what? Satan blesses people too. I'm saying it again. Satan blesses people too. So technically, Satan was using this person, having this person under influence to really... It, it was ugly. Let me put it like this. It was ugly. It was to the point I couldn't write. I said, God, something ain't right. I said, I can't even write. And here I am thinking it was procrastination. And I wouldn't say procrastination. You know, it was slothfulness. And I'm like, something just ain't right. Now, it made sense. It made sense as to why I couldn't write. It just made so much sense why I couldn't write. Because of this person, not only did she block me, she probably was casting spells. And she probably did that to people that she blocked before in the past. I don't put that to pass this person. But, um, yeah, this is sad, y'all. This is so, 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 so sad. And sad with a capital S. You have to be mindful. 
And I mean, you have to be mindful of whom you're interacting with in this industry. Because people can say they have you at heart. I was taking advice from this person. Like I said, I was in my, getting all her books, y'all. I ain't going to lie. Because she wrote Interracial Romance too, But she wrote a hood style version. But anyway. And I mean, anyway. When someone show you who they are, you best to believe them. Don't try to repaint them or nothing. Do you understand me? Y'all need to have discernment. Y'all need to have discernment. You need to have the sermon up in here because the sermon, that's going to help you along the way. That is going to help you along the way. It's going to help you along the way. So, um, I had to change. Yeah, I'm still packing. The movers had come in. I'm still packing. This is not what this book is titled, okay? I, I just want you all to know that this is not what books are doing. Okay. Don't ask me what book 16 is titled, but I'm going to get to my point and I need y'all to understand what's going on, okay? This is what's going on. You need to be, if you call yourself a Christian and you're an author in this um, industry, you need to have discernment and eyes that see. You need to have those two things. And plus, you also need to be well-rooted and deeply rooted in Christ. Why? It is essential. It's essential. It is essential. And I mean, it's very essential. It's very essential that you have those things. Because someone can say they had the best interest in you, and that whole time they're praying on your downfall. They want to suck the life out of you. They will stop you. They will try to hinder you from reaching what God has called you to be. So you need to be mindful that there are Jezebels in the author industry. And you know what? Last night after, I mean, I'm not even done reading the book. I still want to read the book, y'all. I'm like on chapter three of this book. Excuse, mister. But anyway, it is what it is. Because you know what? I'm glad that my writing came back. I'm on where I need to be on. Because guess what? I was like, dang. What is going on? Normally, I'll take a break in here and there so I can start on another book. But it was like, I wasn't even moving fast enough. I did not even complete both Camp NaNoWriMo. That's how bad it was, y'all. That's how bad it was. I'm not going to lie. That's how bad it was. I, I, was, I couldn't even write. But I know something now. I'm going to be honest. Not only did the Billion Word journey get a little increase, but I will say this, and I mean this. And I mean this. And this is what I will mean when I say this. I just know now not to tell people I'm an author one day see me. Only a few people will know. The ones that got in, or maybe I, I still have to have the sermon, but not everybody in their grandma needs to know. Because you know what? Not everybody in their grandma needs to know. And it's real. It's real because there are people out here, even in the industry, that just want to set the life out of you. They don't want to see you do better. Than, that's the thing about a Jezebel. Jezebel does not want to see you do better than them. They want to see you still where you are. They want to see you still do. They want to see you do good, but not better than them. Hey, I told my sister when she started high school, I said, "I want you to do better than me," and she did. Did I get upset? Did I get jealous? No, I was still bragging on her. Until this day, I'm still proud of my sister for doing better than me when I was in high school. I was depressed my junior year. Glad I graduated, but here's the thing. My sister's GPA was higher than mine. Did I get angry? Did I get bitter? No, I didn't. I didn't. Matter of fact, my brother did better than me when he graduated. GPA-wise, I was still happy. Still happy. I'm like, y'all both did better than me. And I raised y'all. I raised them at one point. Don't ask. I ain't going to get personal, but I did. But authors, be mindful who you interact with in this industry. Be, uh, be mindful. Have eyes to see, ears to hear. But make sure you have a deeply rooted relationship with Christ. So I love you guys. May God continue to keep you all. May he bless you all. Be blessed.